Hi and welcome to my review of the Wu Audio WA8 Eclipse USB DAC and headphone amplifier. Let me start a bit unusual. Let's talk about the sound first. This is a vacuum tube USB DAC and headphone amplifier and it sounds amazing. You get a bit of the tube sound which is a smoothness to it. You get a lot of nice full layered bottom end with a beautiful warmth to it. But mind you, this is not a warm amplifier, but it, you get the full body of the music. You have a lovely sound to it. Back of the device, line in, USB entry for your computer connection. It doesn't have any other connections, digital connections, just USB. No coax, no optical power plug and the charging port. On the back you see the description, a battery operated vacuum tube headphone amplifier. So the power is always provided by the battery. Um, the USB does nothing to charge it. It just gives the um, digital information so there's no connection to the power circuit via the, the USB input. On the top of the device you see the switch from three to two tubes which saves a bit of battery power and as well is um, um, using a bit less power of course if only two tubes are powered instead of three. So you can see I just switched it on so the tubes are heating up and the filaments are starting to glow. If my camera would focus that would be helpful. Ha, there you go. So you can see the red glow of the filaments inside the vacuum tubes. It gets quite hot if you're using um, easy to power um, headphones because then a lot of, uh, of the excess power is used no, it's just dissipated as heat, so it can go a bit, it can be a bit, uh, become a bit hot. Anyhow, coming back to the sound quality, um, yeah, nothing more I could ask for. I am very surprised to say that, but I must admit, I was shocked how good this thing sounds. To a certain extent, you should expect that. Here can you can see the LEDs of the battery. It's five LEDs. Um, it's already showing only four because I used it before, so. The battery life is around four hours, so it's not generally very long, but it's not supposed to be a portable device, but a transportable device, meaning you can take it with you, uh, you can use it on uh, various desktops or other um, applications when you are out and about. Sorry, not when you're out and about, when you're outside of your home, but not necessarily on the go. So it's a stationary setup um, that needs uh, also a power supply after around four hours of listening so um, the power supply is mainly I think to to provide steady um, and good quality power to it in order to have low distortion um, I tried it with all of my headphones nearly all of my headphones so sorry I'm just quickly showing you here the uh, the power supply it goes back in the back there this is the power brick and um, of course the normal two pin power cord. It shows also when it's charging, um, this is not plugged in so it shows green otherwise it would show red uh, for charging and green once it's done if the device is not powered on. On the back once the camera focuses you will see that it's a universal voltage. You can w use it from 100 volts to 240 volts so it's a really good device to travel with. Yeah. Anyhow, so coming back to the transportability, it is transportable. You don't use it on the go because it's 1.1 kg, so it's it's quite heavy. Uh, it's surprisingly heavy for its size. Once you pick it up, you feel like, whoa, I couldn't believe that it was that heavy. But I also couldn't believe the sound quality. This um, thing made my headphones sound so good, and all of them. I mean, usually I have headphones that are a bit picky. They like one amp, they don't like the other, they sound good with one, they don't sound good with one of one, they have lots of distortion in the bass with one, maybe if it's underpowered. This WA8 has uh, 350 milliwatts per channel into 50 ohms, which is not necessarily the most powerful um, amplifier, but it used to do all of its work very well. Um, I just showed you the um, Ultimate ES900S, it's a quad balanced armature driver, in here, this year ASG, uh, or Sonics ASG 2.5, dual balanced armature and one dynamic driver. I tried other biodynamic um, RHA audio um, T20s, purely dynamic drivers. 
also driven very well from 8 to 8 to, to 16 ohms, no hiss. Tried my AKG K7XX, which are sometimes a bit picky with the amp, 70 ohms, no problem for the Woo Audio. Um, then I thought, okay, it will probably run out of steam if I go up the ohm range. Let's try it with um, my Sennheiser HD 650. Uh, 300 ohms. It was no problem. It drove it beautifully and it was a liquid, goldish, smooth sound, still with a lot of detail in it. It just sounded brilliant. I couldn't stop listening to it, actually. Um, so I thought, okay, let me take out my Biodynamic T90, which I actually only like with my Bottlehead Crack um, tube amplifier with a speedball upgrade, um, and thought, okay, none of my other amps drives it really, really nice, except this one. But the WA8 did, to my really big surprise. Um, 250 ohms, uh, Tesla drivers, and it sounded just amazing. I didn't want to stop listening. I actually started to get up and dance because it was so engaging to listen to it. So in the end, I tried the HiFi Men HE560 to finally find a headphone that this headphone amplifier cannot drive well. 50 ohms, but needs a, needs a lot of juice because they're planar magnetic uh, drivers in it. Well, it did drive it well. 350 milliwatts were apparently more than enough to drive it to ear splitting sound um, volume and with a really lovely bottom end um, which these headphones can produce with the right amp and it just sounded sublime. It sounded amazing. Yeah, so there you go. Um, WA8, a battery operated tube amp and headphone amplifier. Yeah, sorry, tube, tube, headphone amplifier and USB DAC. The DAC itself is a ES uh, 9018K2M Sabre DAC. Beautifully done, beautifully implemented. Some people say that the, the Sabre DACs, especially in the 9018, is a bit harsh in the treble and it's a bit, um, yeah, it's not as warm as Wolfson chips or other things. I must say not so in this combination. Um, you can't try the DAC without the amp on it, so there's no line out. So you have to listen to the whole package. But I must say, maybe, maybe it's the tubes, but you have a beautiful smooth treble that is not harsh, but contains all of the details. There's no roll off. It's there. There's no sibilance. Everything sounds lovely and smooth um, without being without detail. It's, it's just just lovely sounding. This little black box, which looks a bit like the monolith from uh, 2001 A Space Odyssey, if you look at it from some angles. But um, yeah, it's great. Oh, by the way, it comes also in different colors. You can buy this one in gold and also in a silverish gray, which um, might change its appearance quite quite drastically. Also something you can see in the front here, it has a 3.5 millimeter and a 6.35 millimeter jack, which uh, makes it really suitable for IEMs and, um, and full-size headphones. Very easy, you don't need to carry an adapter with you. The volume knob is big, it's very, has a, enough heft to it to, um, to, to feel good when you really turn it. So the haptic experience of the whole device is really good. It has, um, it's very smooth to turn and you find exactly the right uh, volume for you. I've never went above six or seven ever, even with my planar magnetic headphones. So it has a lot of power. It's um, surprising. I'm gobsmacked. I'm, I can only say that I think this is worth its money. And um, it's hard for me to say that for a $1,800 amplifier and USB DAC, but it's worth it. It's really amazing. You will be happy with this device with any of your headphones. Um, again, it says it drives 8 ohms to 600 ohms headphones, and I only can say, well, it does. Usually, I don't really believe these claims, but in this case, I tried it. It works. As you can see, now I switched it to a um, two, two-tube mode, which... Um, Produces a bit less power, but um, also save the battery. So only two, two of the tubes, um, which are military-grade tubes, uh, start to glow. 
and uh, battery life is a bit extended, but of course you have a bit less juice. Also um, imp important to mention is that it comes in a nice transport pack, uh, case that you see here. It's a sort of a Pelican case. I'm not so sure if it's an original Pelican case or just uh, similar to it. It is uh, has a beautiful cutout that is made for the device. It's padded everywhere, as you can see, even on the on the, the lid. Um, it is has a pressure valve in the front, so that means if you fly, you don't have a under um, you know over under pressure on the device. Um, very sturdy, can survive a couple of knocks for sure. You can travel with it safely. It's watertight, so. Um, even if you are going to swim with your luggage, um, this amp will survive. Um, yeah, and that is it. For me, a clear five-star review and a recommendation worth its money, even though it's bloody expensive. Bye-bye and thank you for watching.